One of the problems you may have with HDR images that come out of Photomatix Pro is that they come out looking kind of flat and sometimes dreamy. There's a real easy way to fix this inside of Photoshop Elements or Photoshop. This technique will actually work on both. What I need to do is I need to open up my Layers panel, which is probably open by default, but if you don't see it, go to your Window menu and then just choose Layers. And I've got this and I need to duplicate this layer. There's a couple of different ways to do it, but the one I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to right click and choose Duplicate Layer and just click OK from the dialog box that pops up. Now, I need to change the blend mode. That's this little box right here. This is normal. And this affects the way that a layer interacts with the layer beneath it. I'm going to choose this and change this to Overlay. Now, this immediately adds contrast, but it adds contrast to the entire image. And in this case, I don't necessarily want that. I'm finding that I'm getting a little too much of the shadow sort of closing in here. And this is all looking a little too heavy to me. What I'd like to do is increase contrast in areas of detail and maybe leave areas that aren't so detailed alone. So how I can do this is I can just come up to my filter menu, and choose other and high pass. And it's going to create the high pass effect. Now, depending, I don't know what you're, uh, it's gonna, your thing's going to default to. But here it might look a bit like a sort of a, uh, you know, icky sharpening. you got to push it fairly high. And how high is going to be dependent on the resolution of your camera and the amount of detail in the scene. In this case, I find that somewhere in the 100, 125, 150 pixel range works pretty well for this image. And I'm just going to click OK. And there we are, it's added in the detailed areas, it's added contrast, and it's tried to sort of avoid adding a lot of contrast in the areas that aren't all that detailed. So you can see that this dreamy, low contrast look here just sort of starts to snap when uh, I add this effect. So this is a way in Photoshop Elements that you can do this, and this would work exactly the same inside of any version of Photoshop as well.